on me. Oh, I desire your presence, Lord. Day and a money, and a 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 I love you more than life. 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 Shibala Kataba. Hallelujah. Let me teach you a little song. I wrote this song years ago. It's a very simple song. It says, let the weight of your glory fall. And let it cover all the earth. Oh goodness, the presence of God is mighty in this place. Mighty. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. That's all to the song. Sing it from the depths of your heart. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. That's our desire. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Can you sing it? Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover. Lord, let your Shekinah mantle us tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Come on, lift your hands, lift up the instruments. Let it cover all the earth. This is our desire, oh God. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory fall. Go ahead and worship him. Your presence is mighty in this place. My 
unity in this place. Yeah. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. She Maria, she Maria, mosuta ba 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 ba. She masuta ni ba 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 ba. She de kodi amala na 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 mos. Na 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 mos, ori na na mos. Mama masono mosige ne 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 mos ni na na na. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Go ahead and put melodies upon your prayer. Shama na 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 masuto bakata balada bakata brenda gete ragata balada seba baba rada balada rada box shuba rada 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 box sumari na 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 hey karamo se na 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 box she na 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 box ragada balada na 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 box she na 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 box Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, awesome are you, Lord. Shima na 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 mosi na na na. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, say, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Oh, he arises as a man of war tonight. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Kappa, te kappa. Sen te kappa. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Sen anamali anamot. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. So let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? The flood gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Listen, I hear the rain, I hear the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Tonight we see the rain. We see the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the blood gates of hell. Go ahead and worship. Let it rain. 
Open, open the floodgates of heaven. Let it the rain is open the floodgates of heaven Lord we hear the rain we see the rain let it rain let it rain let it rain let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Siga bala da bande grata kapada bala. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Zaka praka taba baba kata prenda kata kata bala da bot. Sigadevala <laughs> Mama la 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 mo subari ya na 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 na. Sega la la mo subari ya ba la 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 mo. Hallelujah. I arise with healing upon my wings. Say the Spirit of God. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. The healing power of God is in this place. I arise with healing. Adonai, Lamb of God, forget about the rain and worship. You are worthy. Worthy of my praise, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, let your kingdom reign in my heart. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Adonai, Adonai, sing it together, Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Go ahead and pray in tongues. Edify your spirit. Zata prata kata bala da ba kata prata kata bala da ba koso prando godosh. Shaka taba raba da bala da ba kata prega da bala da bos. Mam prapa ta kata prata kata kata bala da ba koto fras ke bala. Shaka taba la da bos. Eka te pros ke bande ke le baria ta baria da ba 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 ba. Shokoto ba ka prega da bala da bos. Enkrata kata leko sopo si mada katai 
Zakata rakatos kopondo goto proske balanaba. Mekele baske priada balanaba ske prondo shubai. Rabade gane balanaba goto froga na balanaba. Aparete bogoto prosko prendi gane bash. Lekate prosko bondi kreski balekate. So proto koto prekate balada bakate fa. Soto bogoto prekate le bogoto prende kate. Sega dega dega de balada bogo soto praga de balada baka sende kate bega de braska pada. Saka taba kapa rata pa. Shata kata ba kata ba 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 ba. Shaka tako soto ba kosu ba kata balada bas. Mente prata kata praka te kata ba kata ga. Lende kusu to ba kato frende kete. Ekra taka si kete le kato ba kato braga da ba ba ba. Meka te pros kato ba kata le kete. Shaka te prende kete pros ko pros ko ba. Raga da ba le kete prende kete balada ba. Lega te prodos ko prodo ko to bosh. Lega te prete ke te pres ke te pe ke te. Lega te pros ko ba 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 ba. Pray, 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 pray. Build your spirit. Make intercessions. Let te pros ko ba ta ba la da ba. Make contact with heaven. Lega te sko prod ka bosh ka ba re te ko ska da ba. Rise through prayer. Le bronze ke ba o sha bal ke bronze ke ba ri ata. Make the pros go bala 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 katai. Shake the level suprati adabash. Take charge over the heavenlies. Send the pros ki bati kata ta 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 pa kata. Shaka ta 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 pa kata bala da boss. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Shoto to koto pro koto pala da pa koto fresh. Take the belly bati abala bats. I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata prakata parakate, shakata bakata prokoto poko sakate, shakate rekate makapos kambatia, ekrakata gade gade bagade bagade balada bakoso to poko to bagade gade, makapa koto sho poko to balaba, mente prata kata lekate boska, emprot kaposka bande kapose baska, lekate poko so proto koto bakate, mekate protis kabaria da baska proske bos. Ekrata ta ta pokoto prons ke ba 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 ba. Leka te ba korasi ke te balada ba. Shaka te pros kubari ke te. Zinde ke te leka te ba 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 ba. Supa ba ba kata balada ba kati ke ne balada ba. Come on, pray koinonia. Zike te ke te ba 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 ba. Shekatele baka pronze pata katai. Shekatele baka taba ba 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 ba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Shekatele te balada ba. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is koinonia. Kaprande kaparatos kopradi balada ba. Bala bala boso produce balada ba. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Rising up, there's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. Don't break every chain. Break 
Lift your hands, everyone. Shikapatatabaladaba. Lift your hands. Sikaparente kabaladaba shikatai. Mande krada la pako prondos kobali kariada. Zete parata parikatai. Zekata repot shukotoi. Shikelepo sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Zembrodosh kobran de galaba shata bakata rakata pokoto pokoto baba 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 the bible says while they prayed the holy ghost said unto them separate me paul and barnabas lord as we pray tonight let there be impartations let there be openings openings of portals Openings of vessels. Pray, pray. So toke teke teke pakata. Bambra teke te poko so prekete. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Skete baka pra teke te. Sete la pariada bakata ya. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access, access is being given to men. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. 
go ahead and pray he told Jacob for as a prince you have fought with God and prevailed Come on, lift your voice and pray. There's an army, they are rising up, they're rising up, there's an army, we are rising up, there's an army, rising up. We will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain.
Tell me, what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. Tell me, what can I do? I can live. There's a part of I want to sing. Oh. Oh, 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 come on, lift your voice, chant it in the spirit. Oh, 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 Just the voices. Oh, 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 oh. Sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. This is koinonia, an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a family that has been on my mind. I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the... Are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain, every chain, every assault of darkness, every chain, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, every chain, every chain, every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits, chains of limitations. the person please confirm is where's the family that there was a there are people that spoke to me about someone they are not here someone who got mad or psychosomatic it's not a word of knowledge there is a family that I'm supposed to minister to here okay if they are not around that's okay why are you here your brother your elder brother what's wrong with him come How many years? Seven years. Where is he? At home. I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact. Lord Jesus, let your power touch the brother, even through him, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people, especially ladies. Hallelujah. I'm just going to rebuke it and I see like, like 
they look like guns but it's fire literal fire it will live and it will hit you and that is the end of it thank you jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ right now i cause that pain go now go now 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 every devil of darkness responsible for every pain i cost you now in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus be healed right now be healed the power of god is healing them right now right now right now you may not even know right now the sign is that it will touch you it must touch you you can't stand on your feet if you are part of this list it will touch you that's what the lord is showing me I cause that pain. I cause that spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your chest. The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now. Blood conditions. Blood conditions blood conditions all those who are part of it there will be this same fire it will come upon you in a mighty way it's a sign that you are the one God is touching this is not something vague hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ blood conditions I speak to you all those affected may the fire of God set you free now 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 the power of god is touching people right now right now i cost that devil i cost that devil i cost that devil i cost that devil in the name of the lord jesus christ i cost that spirit i cost that spirit i see visions of the spirits of infirmity living people living people living people in the mighty name of Jesus, I cast that spirit. The Lord is showing me two ladies, and I'm seeing a guy. You have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies I see the Lord showing me. Please let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one just so that save us all of the time. How long has it been? Huh? Six months. How about you? Huh? I'm seeing your hands chained. Your own situation. There's, there's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. There's still one more lady. There's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cast this chain. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go right now. And I break by the power of the Holy Spirit, this spirit that causes you not to sleep. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. How many months? Six months. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free right now. You will begin to sleep normally. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching someone's ear. Right now as I speak. The Lord is touching someone's ear. You will literally feel as though a cotton board. Is put in your ear. And all of a sudden. It will open up and become clearer. Thank you Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you Lord Jesus Christ. 
the Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump. You began to see this. You've not even shared it with many people. Breast lump is living right now, right now, dissolving and going back to hell, never to return to you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are four people. Listen. There are four families that as I speak right now, the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs. Listen. Listen. It's not, it's not just prophecy for everybody. Four exact people. One. There are four of them. Two. The angel of the Lord literally, literally, literally is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs. Dramatic breakthroughs. The Lord is showing me over 10 people and I see academic chains. This is what I see. 10 people, 10 people. And this is not your fault, 10 people. I'm going to begin to count one to 10. And goodness, it's like fire, fire, fire. I cast those spirits. Two, three, four, five, six, kapototo badakata. Seven, eight, nine. I cast those chains. I cast those chains. I cast those chains. It comes to an end I tell you it comes to an end that chain breaks now and forever it comes to an end hallelujah let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing if this is all he does tonight that's all right hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing two eyes in the spirit and God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences. Listen, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, prophetic fountains, those eyes in the spirit, Sheketa Taparata, Sheketete Pokotosh, at least 19 people. At least 19 people. Shataka bariata. Fire. Physical fire. Coming upon your eyes. Physical fire. Coming upon your eyes. Open them up, oh God. To these dimensions of supernatural revelations. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now, two families, right now, just two families. Father, wherever these families are represented, right now, let your power visit and set them free now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, this row. All of you here, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. From the front, right to the back. 
there are people that God again is visiting their families 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 God is bringing breakthrough right now right now just this rule Lord in the name of Jesus let those families let the angel of the Lord there are angels walking through this crowd right now right now right now in the name that is above all names angels of the Lord walking to families performing specific miracles specific miracles specific miracles specific miracles hello gim madonna hello gim madonna Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. There are some devils that need to leave this place right now. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now. Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We're going to shout that name, Jesus. My goodness. I'm telling you, major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three i cause devils now i cause spirits now i cause spirits every wicked spirit out of God's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cost that power it's not just them families their families i set fire 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 upon altars i set fire i set fire upon Hallelujah. Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice and a sword of the spirit will go to your family there must be deliverance tonight are you ready now one two three Jesus! <laughs> Let's 
Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands, that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else, in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be 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 open now. By the force of the spirit, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I declare that every force stopping the advancement of my family. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every power you must be in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Pick up your Bibles, Daniel chapter 10. The devil is in trouble tonight. Zente kaparakata Pikata shitanda Zeke poko to poko to Pakata shitanda Daniel chapter 10 You have come for koinonia It's an experience It's a mountain Something must change about your life Kabrando gozo protoko shupalata pai Daniel chapter 10 verse 10 and behold an hand touched me and set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands and he said unto me O Daniel a man greatly beloved understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright for unto thee I am now sent and when he had spoken this word to me, I stood trembling. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not. Daniel had been fasting and praying. He said, For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I am come to thee for thy words. Verse 13. But the prince, listen. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. And lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. Listen, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then it says, against principalities. Against powers. Then against rulers. Then against spiritual wickedness. They do not operate in the earth realm. The Bible says they operate in the heavenlies. This prince of Persia was the territorial spirit across the land of Persia. So when Gabriel was bringing the answer, the solution, that prince stopped him. I have been put in charge of this territory to make sure that breakthrough does not come to men. To make sure that men are not lifted. But there was a man in the earth realm who kept praying. And while he prayed, it was on the strength of his authorization. The, from the arsenals of heaven, the archangel Michael had to come. Because he's the archangel in charge of war. We are going to pray tonight. Every land has territories. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every land has territories. And there are spirits. Those of you who have listened to the message, give me this mountain. There is a spiritual dimension to life. And there are, met, there are certain things that will never manifest in your life until you prevail in prayer. Jacob held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. He said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, your name will be changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God. And you have prevailed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't let anybody fool you and tell you what we just read was the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, when you pray, it just comes. It, 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 it makes... Listen. The kingdom of God is a system. The earth realm is a system. Are you getting my point? It is as soon as Zion travails, hallelujah, that she will put forth. There is a birthing. This is the ninth month. If you didn't come to pray tonight, I'm so happy about the rain. Because you won't go anywhere. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? We are going to pray. Listen. We are going to confront powers. Zechariah chapter 1, please, quickly. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 then I lifted up my eyes and I saw and I beheld what? four horns a horn is a symbol of authority next verse and I said unto the angel that talked with me what be these? 
what are these horns? And he answered me, these are the horns that have scattered Judah. These are the horns that have scattered Jerusalem. These are the horns that are making your father to never reconcile with your mother. These are the horns that make finances to stop when it's about to come. These are the horns hindering the gates of marriage. Verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then I said, what come this to do? He said, these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. These are the horns that have robbed you of your testimony. Of your joy. He said, so that no man does what? Lift up his head. They have put a barrier around your family and your life. And they have said, no man will lift up his head. So every time you want to lift up your head, there are horns. They station them. Hear me and take seriously what I'm saying. They have drawn the boundaries. Man takata. Goodness. I tell you, I sense deliverance fire in this place tonight. Oh, those horns must leave. For sure. There are horns stationed across territories to make sure that men do not rise. Some of you, this is a limitation. You are the first person in your family to get to the university. There are horns. But tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to step out and put on our priestly regalia. We are going to confront the heavens he told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? Did you speak into the heavenly territories? Did you command the things to align themselves? We are praying tonight. The Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. She was a warrior, and the constellations arranged themselves to make sure that enchantments could not go to the heavens. Lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on now, you have to be more serious than this. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All right. That every power. Across my territory. That wants to stop me. And stop my family. From rising, up, from rising up I challenge you tonight, challenge you tonight by, the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray <laughs> In the name of the Lord Jesus. We We place a demand on the heavenly host. We place a demand on the ministry of angels. We place a demand. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, we are praying tonight. Jude 1. Jude 1, verse 9. You will see tonight that Satan is interested in this body that you wear. Jude 1. Everyone read. Want to read. Hold on. Do you see Michael again? Michael in Daniel contending against powers. He shows up again in the book of Jude. Read on. Want to read. Hold on. He disputed about the what? Spirit, soul, body. Satan wanted the body of a man. Satan wants the bodies of men. Not just their spirits. Because without a body, without a body, demonic activities cannot be carried out. The church is called the body that the Holy Ghost uses. It's called the body of Christ. The body that the Holy Ghost wears. There is a law in this realm. That any spirit that does not have a body cannot function in this realm. So Satan wants the body of Moses. If he looked for the body of Moses, Moses in the Old Testament, how much more your own body? So he will afflict you. He wants your body. So he will manipulate your body and all kinds of objects moving around. But the Bible says, Know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not. Listen. We are going to pray. I'm establishing a prayer point. Jesus entered the temple, which was his body, and he found out that there were strangers in that temple. Are you getting my point now? Those who should be in the temple were not there. And he found people doing business in the temple. There were transactions going on in his body. That's the same way Satan carries out all kinds of transactions in human bodies. And you hear people complaining. Objects are moving in my body. You see people sleep in the night and all kinds of devilish things come to oppress them. Tonight we are going to pray. Are you getting my point? Please, if you are sitting, except you are under the anointing, stand up. And let's take some time to pray. You must get angry tonight and let's pray. Because something must break. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That my body. Is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body, my body belongs to Jesus. Therefore, every strange spirit attempting to hold on to my body, I command you right now, depart from my body now. Lift your voice and pray. Every stranger Every stranger his body is the temple of the Holy Ghost.
Hallelujah. Everywhere the gospel was preached, Jesus demonstrated that he was not only interested in the spirits of men, but their bodies. What healing does to your body is what salvation does to your spirit man. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the root of sickness. I want you to get ready because the devil is in trouble. There's fire burning in this place this night. No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake in the name of madness. Are you getting what I'm saying? No matter how stupid a man is, in his insanity, he knows fire when he sees it. The Bible says he maketh his ministers winds. Are you getting my point? And his messengers flames, flames of fire. Every stranger in your body is about to leave. I don't care what it is called. Sickness is that. Let me tell you how you know that these things are demonic. Because many of us, when you pray on it, it will go. And then later on it will return. You are a lady, they pray for you. And then for one or two or three months, you find out that your period just comes normally. No pain, no nothing. And then in the fourth month, it backfires again. There are people, recurrent headache, all kinds of devils. A growth comes and then it goes. You pray and try to treat it, it goes. We are going to set it on fire right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, know ye not that your body. I showed you from the book of Jude. Satan was fighting with Michael over the body of Moses. Hallelujah. This body is your legal access for living and functioning in this realm. If it is battered beyond repair, your spirit will no longer be able to stay there and it will have to leave. So if Satan cannot get to manipulate your mind, he will batter your body in a way that your spirit cannot live and it will have to go. We are going to pray. Many of us, as you are praying right now, you will be surprised. Huh? Now is the time to pray all those. Hold on, please, one minute. Genotype. Huh? I've read my Bible from Genesis. Please listen. This is very serious what I'm sharing. There's no mention of any nonsense of genotype in this Bible. Have you read your Bible? There are many ladies right now, many guys, they cannot even get married. They can't think of anything because the devil put one rubbish embargo called genotype. S, S, A, S and all of those rubbish. Now you want to get married or you want to settle down, they tell you no. Health wise, every parent is carrying their child and running away. The devil is in trouble tonight. We are going to pray. If he was not here, he should not be in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying. Whatever has affected this body has affected God's property. And we're going to pray and invoke his presence that he will rise in his jealousy and attack any stranger. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you, as you pray, growth will disappear. See, the trouble is that many of us have been praying, but we, we of course, I know not here, but generally, we, we do not know the power of the corporate anointing. Psalm 133 talks of God depositing the blessing where people are gathered together in unity. That's different from your personal prayer life. Are you getting my point now? We are going to pray. There are traits of infirmities around your family. There are traits of infirmity in your life. There are many of us, all sorts of embarrassing conditions, skin problems, to the minutest, to anything. Hear me! No matter how small it is, it is according to your faith tonight. Are you getting what I'm saying? 
He said, whatever my father has not planted, whatever he has not planted, it must be uprooted. Don't sit down and tolerate it. What you tolerate in your body, the devil will use it to destroy you. But when you resist the devil, the Bible says he will flee. Lift up your voice. We are going to pray again. Say after me, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every infirmity, every abnormality in my body, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to leave this body now. I command you to leave this body now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every stranger Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Joel chapter 2. Let's start from verse 23. Joel 2, verse 23. Want to read? Verse 24. Verse 25. Shout it with all your heart. Shout it. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. I place demand. For restoration. In my life. In my family. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that prayer again. You know the areas you want restoration. Please we are not playing games tonight. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. When we get to that party, we'll mention it. And we're going to pray. 
the bible says i will it didn't say i will send someone i will supervise your restoration hallelujah the years we are going to say lord turn the hands of time again turn the hands of time let that which the devil has stolen be restored there are things that need to be restored tonight hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus, the name of jesus. I, receive I receive sevenfold restoration, seven restoration of everything the devil has stolen in my life now mention them your health whatever it is Lift your voice and pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him thanks. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because our eyes will see the desires of our hearts and our hands will handle it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Just give me 10, 15 minutes and we're out of here. If this is all we have done tonight. It is worth it. There's no place for you to sit, stand, sit on the floor, sit anywhere. Go ahead. The service is already on. So, At least there should be no vacant seat. There are still people standing. If the person is under the anointing. Let the person lie down on the floor and let someone use the seat. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what the word of God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what God has said. It's not even knowing that there is a kingdom principle. That's not revelation. Revelation is knowing how to make that principle work in your life. If it cannot work in your life, then it's useless. Hallelujah. See, we keep sharpening ourselves like this, like arrows in the presence of God we're sharpening ourselves because we're trusting God to attain a statue in the spirit where no power in existence can stop your fulfilling God's destiny for your life you believe that there is a generation that is depending upon our faithfulness the Bible says he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption and he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal we are making investments in the spirit we are laboring we are traveling you won't be surprised when you see your life and your prophetic destiny tomorrow 
because you will know that yes it is god's grace but paul said it this way i am what i am by the grace of god right but he said this grace was not showered upon me in that i labored more than ye all there is grace that manifests as the favor of god and there is grace that manifests as supernatural empowerment to do hallelujah the lord is changing your life i'm telling you gradually the bible says line upon line precept upon precept your value system your life the quality of your christian experience is changing and then like the 71 day he will trust you with responsibilities he will send you and you will be shocked to see that he has built you to be his finest the finest of the finest of the best don't trivialize what God is doing in your life brothers and sisters week after week you're submitting yourself to the dealings of the spirit and it will translate into something in your life you may not look like it now see that there is no athlete who wants to look good when you are rehearsing have you seen an athlete like that you are conscious of your shoe let it not have mud. no 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 when when you are training you will see footballers get dirty and all of that but when they lift that trophy huh they can now dress and enjoy the celebration my bible tells me that no man that warreth will entangle himself with civilian affairs these trainings will prune you it will it will it will build you listen to me it will challenge you it will stretch you it will provoke you but when you submit to the dealings of the spirit the end of it is peace something will happen in your life that money cannot buy something will happen in your life that is not common you will now know that it is not common to be yielded to the spirit it's not a gift not everybody is interested there are many people who are born again but very few people are interested in the things of the spirit so god is teaching us we spend time now to pray and travel in the spirit you cannot imagine the levels of victory and so you would just step home and you see that doors begin to open and some of you your loved ones will not know they will just say, aha, uh -huh, things are working well now. Things don't just work. They are enforced in the spirit. Learn this. Learn this. Learn this. One day it will change. It's a waste of time. Time does not change things. Are you getting me? Engaging kingdom principles. 38 years, that man was at the pool of Bethesda. In less than five minutes, he got up. He would have remained there forever. So the word of God that you are receiving, you must believe it. Please hear me. You must believe it. If you're just sitting down and watching every week and just looking and hoping that this word will make sense one day, you may be deceiving yourself. The Bible says ever learning. Have you seen people like that? They have all of the revelation but never coming to the comprehension of the truth. Depart from those kinds of people. When you come into the presence of God, give your heart. He says, meditate on these things. Give yourself wholly to them. And he gives you an assurance. What's the assurance? That thy profiting may appear. Look, let me tell you. Um, you see, if your life does not bear fruit after a particular time, you will be frustrated. Because it's God that sees the heart. Men look at the outward appearance. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Men do not have the ability to see the heart. So your Christian experience must translate into a testimony that glorifies the name of the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If it does not, your family members will never see the relevance of your commitment to prayer and to the study of the word, the disciplines and the constraints of the spirit. Say my life will bear fruit. 
Say it, my life will bear fruit. Brothers and sisters, if you go to your house and there is a sick person and you have a revelation and you pray for that sick person, stand up my brother, and you pray for that sick person and the sick person stands up, do you know that that is a sermon that is more than one year of beckoning up? You don't need to invite people and say, come for Christ. No, 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 no. The woman, at the, Samar the Samaritan woman said, come and see a man that has told me everything I've done. What is the result in your life that compels people to want to know about God? If your life continues to remain a barren wilderness, there is no reason why people should be attracted to your God. There was something that Ruth saw and she told Naomi, he said, my, your God will be my God. Hallelujah. It's not just for you to come and watch a man of God doing great things. No. It's to provoke your spirit and you go back with that anointing. You're not falling down for nothing. Say, I'm anointed. Say it. Some of you are even laughing at yourself. Say it. It has nothing to do with fivefold ministry. It has everything to do with being alive. Hallelujah. And you step into your house, you step into your place of work and you step in as an ambassador, as an envoy. Don't let people mock your emoji. Emoji for nothing. Emoji, emoji. They keep calling you. When there's trouble, they pass you. Your emoji as a nickname. No. Emoji, you say yes and they pass you and, and you are not contributing anything to the kingdom. Elisha said, hi, I love that guy. He said, let Naaman come and know that there is a prophet in Israel. Hallelujah. That there is a prophet in Israel. Can the devil look at your family and say, ah, if, if only I can shift Zuera out of the way and like a big hen, you stay there and say you are invited. I have become a shield. He said, as for me and my house. For many of us, it's as for me and myself. It must translate beyond you. Are you getting my point? You shield others. You are minding your business and you see the devil trying to oppress somebody. You say, Satan is my business. It's my business. Whether you invite me or not, it is my business. You must let this person go. Hallelujah. Listen. It's not enough for you. Don't get used to seeing miracles, healings, deliverances. You know, in Koinonia, we're so used to miracles. When it happens, you just watch one of those things that's happened again. You see, it's a lesson. It's a handwriting upon your life. Are you hearing me? That God is challenging you and telling you that your life ought to be supernatural in every way not just by making noise and disturbing people when they are sleeping praying in tongues no it must translate he said let your light so shine before who before yourself before men you already know you have the light but they do not know he said let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and as a result praise your father in heaven when was the last time Someone spoke to you about his situation and he said, that's all right. That's all right. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you picked up your phone. You said, let's pray. Many of us, is just, hey, yeah. See, I just returned from Koinonia. It was powerful this night. Ah! You missed. And Ben said, I'm, I'm having a little stomach ache. Said, oh, it's like that. Let's, let's just lie down. It's too late. The chemist is closed. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. You need to get angry one day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As soon as you get home, you hear your sister saying, finally, my name came out. They are about to, to downsize me and, and, and do all of that. And you say, oh, I'm sure that God knows how he will work things out. Look at what you are saying. You are the ambassador. You are the voice of God in that room. You must die. One of the things I've learned, listen to me. One of the things I've learned about working in the anointing is that you must die to your ego hello are you hearing what i'm saying many of us are so conscious what if i 
I tell the people God will bless you and God doesn't bless them. Tomorrow they will now see me and say, Pastor, that prayer, you know people are so funny. Pastor, you prayed and the prayer didn't work. Oh. And you feel stupid, you feel embarrassed. If I do well, God should take the glory. If nothing happens, who should take the shame? I, I answer me. Who should take the shame? So if you are taking the shame, you are being Hallelujah. Go and pray for the sick person. Pray. Let the person die in your hands. No problem. Just pray. You now go and find out what is wrong with you. And then the person says, there's, there's one wound. If I open it, you say, ah, you wouldn't have even told me. Look, just quietly go to the hospital. Oh. Challenge your faith. Hallelujah. You say me, I'm not a man of God's wife. I want peace. I don't want to trouble Satan. Let him know. Take away, you see, I believe that our mindsets are changing. That mindset of, I don't trouble you, Satan. Don't trouble me too. Let's all mind our business. It does not work in this earth realm. Are you getting what I'm saying? It does not work in the earth realm. There are many of us, I would not be surprised that there are some of us who sit down like that. You believe that because you are not active in the things of the kingdom, when the devil comes, he will jump you and go and look for those who are really causing him trouble. And he said, the devil pass, please pass. I don't have anything. I didn't look for any trouble. It doesn't work that way. Satan does not disturb you because you have become a slave to him. Right? But you must, you must tear down the assaults of the devil over the lives of people. Say one more time, I'm anointed. Say it, I'm anointed. The Holy Ghost just took over this meeting. Let's just flow with the way he's... I'm anointed. Look at your hands. Everyone look at your hands. I know you have been insulting it. That it doesn't look nice. Forget about all those ones. Look at your hand. Whatever you have, there is your hand. Whether it's rough or smooth, it's irrelevant. Just look at your hand. I'm talking about the spiritual, the spiritual content. I like you to say, my hands represent the hands of Jesus. They carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They can produce results and work wonders. Do you believe that? This is, God bless you, this is my mentality. This is my mentality. My hands are not just for eating. No. This, there, is, there is something upon my hands. Jesus has placed his hands upon my own hands. Many of us, we keep falling down and rising, but we are not blessing anybody. I want to ask you a few questions. Just a few minutes and then we'll round up. Listen. How many of us believe we are anointed? We just said we're all anointed. The question I have for you tonight is, who has your anointing brought to the kingdom? Has your anointing been able to save anybody? I once was lost. Huh? Come brother. That this brother was lost and on the strength of the anointing that you have, whether it was to save him, to get him healed, he has now come into the saving knowledge of the kingdom. If your anointing, listen, I will tell you why many people do not see more of the anointing in their life. They want anointing. And the first question is for what? What do you want it for? So you'll be speaking and people will fall down. If that is your definition of the anointing, if that is your scope, you know, especially the youth, we like power. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. You like the fact that you just sit down and say, I'm speaking. Some of you, while I was talking and things were happening, you were, it was as if you were pouring cold water in your body. Calm down. The Lord is speaking to you right now. Calm down. If there is no passion in your heart to see his kingdom come, I am telling you now, you do not need the anointing. And you shall receive dunamis. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Please project it for us. And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And that power is to an end. 
it says and you shall be what witnesses witnesses who is a witness who is a witness if tosin slaps this gentleman and i saw it what do you call me a witness if we go to the court i said tosin really slap i saw it so i'm a witness the holy ghost makes you a witness you were not there when jesus died are you are you getting what i'm saying you were not there when jesus died were you there you were not there on the cross but now you are standing to represent a message that you were not there physically so the holy ghost says at least i was i was i was there i was not in jesus on the cross but i was around i saw everything let me partner with you you do the talking and then i will prove that you are not a liar are you getting what i'm saying so you tell the sick that jesus has healed you all of this rubbish sickness is over and the holy ghost says yes i was there on the cross by his stripes this guy has been healed and you stretch forth your hands and the holy ghost validates that your claims are true everyone say i'm a witness but the, the challenge is that many of us are not witnesses indeed you have roommates you have people in your workplace and there's no transformation no transformation the lord is speaking to us tonight hallelujah i may not have time to talk so much about it but I, I i really wanted to talk extensively on soul winning tonight when god just took over we give him praise hallelujah we give him praise because at least he visited people and he blessed people but the question i have for us is that who is coming to the saving knowledge of jesus christ because of the investment of the spirit upon your life there are many of us who are the only ones who are born again in our family there are many of us you leave people just in and you get up and carry your bible and come for koinonia and you are happy again and again we've had people here especially students when they're in their final year some of them get to find out about koinonia it's not like they do not know but for many people the god of this world has blinded their minds they don't care are you getting my point point? and some of us just sit down we just watch and the devil keeps destroying these lives and then at a point where they have two or three weeks to get out of zaria then they come and you see them crying and wondering and getting angry with you and you say sorry it's okay now and then you don't do anything about it again the lord is speaking to us do you know why many ministries let me be sincere with you do you know why many ministries are small small in terms of membership and small in terms of impact look at every ministry that there is a rich investment of the ministry of the holy spirit they are committed to turning many into righteousness right and transforming lives why should i want the holy ghost in my life why should i want his anointing when i'm not interested in praying for the sick right when i'm not interested in 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 seeing people set free you see the church has reduced anointing to money hello hello and many of us are already becoming victims of this theology our concept of anointing is just power to prosper so i have the anointing meaning i have the anointing to prosper financially so you buy the car you buy the clothes you build the house you do everything and you say i'm anointed if you have ever doubt my anointing look at the fruits of my anointing car house will car go to heaven answer me will house go to heaven listen listen brothers and sisters we must begin to live having the passions of god in our heart there are many of us here we used to be committed to genuine evangelism genuine evangelism and we are allowing this this demonic wave of complacency in the church to just come around there are many churches i say this with all apology and due respect they cannot even remember the last time they made an altar call and they don't care correct they don't care 
to an extent that we can preach and look at many evangelical meetings and crusades right now on the crusade ground is money they are raising and doing miracles as great as that is the end of all of these things is to see a soul not just saved in terms of the religiosity saved but lives transformed every society is a reflection of the quality of the mindsets that are there this is why we are passionate and committed we do everything that we do week in week out to make sure that souls are saved and lives are transformed you will notice that i've almost not missed any koinonia meeting no matter where i am no matter where i am I try to make sure that Friday I am back. You know why? Because this work is my primary assignment. Any external ministration is just an extension of the apostolic impact. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But this is the core. And some of you are pastors. Let me talk to you. Or some of you are men of God. You have your church. You are in a year. You will only preach once or twice. And members are just sitting down and being confused under different kinds of messages and theologies. Everybody coming with this. I believe in the corporate input of the body. But the man, the one that God has put as a shepherd, you must stay and build the people. You are constructing an ideology. And it must be sustained so that the people are built in that ideology. So that they won't be tossed through and through by every junk and every wind of doctrine. There are some things when some of you hear now, you won't even pray about it. Is that true? On account of what you have known. The word of God comes to build you. But when it builds you, it creates a sense of responsibility. You can't just be falling for nothing. And then you stand up and you just clean your body. And when you are going, you say, Kai! I fell today again. Oh, I've been falling the last three weeks. This person said, me too. Oh, this thing, I don't know how it works. That's not the goal. It's not a thing to just, it's, it's, it's for you. How many of you here have, have sat down to say, look, bring 5,000, bring 5,000. Let's make a very serious tract. Tract that is well edited and, and has the kingdom, not religion. Say, I don't have a ministry. You don't need a ministry. You need passion. You see, that's the mindset we all have. Huh? We believe that for impact to ever happen, you must have a ministry. So three friends come together, they bring the 55,000 and say, come, let's settle this. Who is the Jew of this group? Who is the real Jew? If they sow a seed now, who does it go to? That is to be carnally minded, the Bible says, is death. That's, that's really what carnality is. That you are already that see judas was not a bad person judas was a carnal person he looked at jesus and he had a business idea the name of his business idea was jesus how he can use jesus christ and make money that was all that was why he didn't even use the money he thought that when they come to catch jesus christ he would do his majestic thing again when he found out that that thing had backfired he died he killed himself How many of us here we are on facebook some of us some of us are on twitter some of us are and we well not 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 many i say this for the sake of those who will be listening to the message there are many of us it's just rubbish if you are happy today everybody will know on facebook that you are happy joyful the sun is shining tomorrow if you are angry this world what a dark place your whole your whole emotional life on display idleness we don't live with the consciousness of the kingdom as you are laughing please take seriously what i'm saying hallelujah yet we want to see the glory of god in our lives what is wrong with using your posts and say lord i may not be a man of god i may not have the power to heal the sick now but i commit myself is that true to making sure that every week one soul is saved i must come for koinonia with somebody sister how has your beautiful face translated into soul winning in the kingdom let me talk to ladies your beauty is either bringing people into the kingdom or taking people out of the kingdom is that true there's nothing as neutral 
So the brother sees you and says, Sister, you are very fine. Say, we give glory to the, the name of the Lord. I'm inviting you. Let me use this opportunity and invite you. If you are afraid of talking to the person about Jesus Christ, some of us, once they just say you are beautiful, they just say, ah, let me not bring Jesus into it. As if Jesus is putting sugar inside food. You know, it's as if, let me, let me savour this moment now doesn't come every day let me enjoy it jesus stay away let me not bring any religiosity and then the lord watches you from the throne and says you pray you want a ministry you want a ministry where you are everywhere you want an international ministry and god sees your heart and he knows that there are some levels of the anointing if we give this person you are going to be a disaster to the kingdom and he measured a thousand cubits that man was there until he proved that he was faithful then another thousand cubits was measured there are some of us even if you fast for 100 days i am telling you more anointing will not come until you step up your passion and your and your reckless abandon for the things of the kingdom we're afraid of being looked at as being fanatical right so many of us I'm not a man of God. Please, please. I can, I can so see it. You know, there's this theology people teach. There are those who give. There are those who preach. Many people say I'm in the category of the givers. No, everybody is in all three categories. You must give. You must pray. You must preach. Hallelujah. Don't just say me, I'm a giver. And then, because the man of God really needs money desperately. He said, you are doing the same thing with me. You who is giving me and preaching is all the same thing. It's true that it's the same thing, but if it's the same thing, it means you can switch. It's still the same thing. Preach to who has changed because of you. How many of us does your presence judge sin and iniquity? Listen to what I'm saying. Does your presence, I'm not talking of condemnation, right? I'm not talking of condemning people and just writing people off. That's, 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 that's something else. That's a theology that came from hell. But does your presence judge sin and iniquity truly? That someone wants to do something bad and your presence is an inconvenience to the person. For some of us, your presence is a, is a catalyst. Bless your head. Thank God you have even come, sir. And then let me not even, let me not just bypass this. How many of us have truly made up our minds to part with iniquity? Listen, listen. Please do not ever think that there is a way of negotiating your way into intimacy with God. If you really want authentic power, iniquity must be far from you. When I talk of iniquity, you, you know what I'm talking about. It must be far. Don't say it does not matter. Don't say it does not matter. I'm repeating it. You must hear me. Don't say it does not matter. You will never walk in authentic power. That's why a lot of people cast out demons. The demons cast them too. Because they know that Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. We joke around with the issue of sin and iniquity in the body of Christ. And then we believe that because God is gracious, right? Iniquity is what will give Satan access to your life, your state of heart. Iniquity is not just sleeping around or drinking and smoking. There are fruits of that iniquity. Iniquity is a state of heart that is perpetually rebellious towards God and the laws of the kingdom. The psalmist said, if I cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? He said, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. When there are still Christians giving bribe and taking bribe, you will never see the hand of the Lord. Don't say it does not matter. You want job. Somebody saying, bring 250,000. And you are happy. Say it's like that. It's Nigeria. Please don't bring any church thing here. Bring it, oh, bring it. Because you are the don't try to dichotomize your life and say, This is my social life. 
this is my spiritual life what is the meaning of that nonsense in one of the revelations the four living creatures were in one body huh four dimensions functioning in one body we must be far from iniquity it has been the ancient key to the presence and the power of god and by the grace of god almighty we will not water it down in koinonia we will preach the full gospel i will tell you the truth the secrets that bring the glory and the presence of god there are many of us we watch all kinds of nonsense we think it does not matter look at look at the way your mind is huh? you can't look at a beautiful lady and just go free as soon as they are sharing the grace may the grace of our lord jesus christ you feel like starting another service for yourself because you have you have polluted your mind watching all kinds of nonsense it's a culture it's a sacrifice am i blessing you tonight oh yes it's a sacrifice there are many of us ladies anybody you can even be walking on the road somebody will just park car and say enter you say oh, really let me enter first and find what sort of don't you live by values everybody say values say it shout it values as a kingdom citizen never forget this we live by values you may see us jump around but let me tell you the love of god constrains us hallelujah sister let people be able to look at your life and say how can a beautiful lady like this not be loose and he said no i may be beautiful but i have so i've given myself like a love slave to god that i'm beautiful you know many brothers see our beautiful ladies you know koinonia has pretty ladies right brothers say amen, amen. they are your wives too so say amen. amen but listen to me now the issue here is that before the transition between now and when they become your wives you must mind yourself and discipline yourself and be a genuine christian hallelujah brothers let me give you a little secret if you don't mind yourself with respect to ladies i'm not talking of sleeping around ladies men that are over conscious about ladies never encounter the presence of god powerfully i'm not talking of sleeping around you are just thinking it's, it's still it's still the same thing you are you are stopping your mind from entering certain dimensions of the secret place i'm not saying frown at any lady after corner saying mm, i'm pressing into god no that's not what i'm saying there are many of us our own encumbrances is what i call carnality what you wear you can be thinking of what to wear for koinonia from saturday which one will i wear let me add this is good we believe in excellence but be careful lest it corrupts your time we believe in excellence but let me tell you it's better to wear bathroom slippers and come and focus and flog it out with destiny and change your life who cares whether you wear your visage or gucci thank god but demons can bypass that visage and oppress your life and that's what we're trying to tackle in this place are you getting what i'm saying when you take care of your spiritual life then you can beautify your body on the other hand let me balance it on the other hand there are some of us that are careless about our our bodies we, we do not know that is still part of spirituality right what you wore yesterday you just look at it smell it not very smelly you just carry it and you're on your way to koinonia no. be intentional about your coming here don't make it look like it's a mistake be intentional plan these are all aspects of the kingdom let everything about your life neatness neatness thoroughness some of us are very dirty the way you are sitting down looking at me like this your rooms there are still plates that all these things are i'm just showing you how that your life must draw people it will either draw people towards god or away from him and don't you say it does not matter the bible says add to your faith virtue the word virtue there is moral excellence say i'm changing especially if you really are say it i'm changing
because some of you as god is speaking to you go back to your rooms and wash that plate this night wash it this night hallelujah if come sweetheart if i'm going to get married to this lady i'm taking my revelation of god together with all the unrenewed liabilities that i have i'm coming to say bring your own and and let's 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 wed in holy matrimony the question is are you going to be a blessing to your partner or the person will look at you and say had i known what deceived me what didn't i see huh say i'm a blessing the bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed bless you you must be a soul winner from today whatever you will do to bring souls to the kingdom i say whatever in the positive way right don't go and do all kinds of babylonian things and say whatever let souls be one no in the kingdom the means is as important as the end i've taught you right because if if you say i am doing this and that so that souls will come i i allow the man to go for weekend with me because i'm trying to win him between now and the next one month he must be born again no no that's not that's not the kind of born again we're talking about praise the lord say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i become serious with my spiritual life in the name of jesus i lay aside every weight and everything that corrupts my christian testimony two more things i'll talk about and then we'll pray and we'll be done hallelujah i want to talk about two things i have seen across that stops many souls from coming to the kingdom number one is anger among believers write it I don't know where this impartation of the spirit of anger flew and came from there are many of your anger is not demons the demons left since february miracle service but the anger is still there anger rage it is an aspect of your christian life you must blot out you must blot out please write it anger You can be as calm as a dove. But when you get angry, you can give it to anybody. There are some sisters right here in this place. You would have been married since. If only you address this issue. If you like, go to prophet, apostle, pastor, teacher. You must change that. Thing. There are some brothers here. You don't have friends. You say, I don't care. I'm in a world all by myself. You have beat everybody close to you because of anger. Your younger ones run away from you. There's nothing about your life that is pleasing because of anger. There are many pastors today, the anger and the rage they have, they can finish preaching. Even on stage, they can almost slap the other person. I said, sing 10 or what, what are you singing? And you are wondering. And then the guy turns and says, let's pray. And he's looking and saying, let's go. Number two, immorality. Immorality. Let's bury this thing this night. Look at me. Look at me. Do not let anyone, please, 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 koinonia. My conscience must be clear before God and I must tell you. Do not let anyone convince you, convince you, that a life of immorality you can be able to patch your christian experience and patch immorality i'm saying it now you must hear me in jesus name i'm i'm telling you this from the depths of my heart there are many of you as i'm talking even the holy spirit is saying thank you jesus finally i'm getting to i'm not condemning you <laughs> I tell you the number of believers sir the number of believers that are compromising on their christian integrity especially over the issue of immorality this is probably one of the biggest reasons 
why many souls do not come to the kingdom. If you are involved in all those things, I love you, but you must stop this night in Jesus' name. Say amen. Whether it be, you are part of it or not, say amen. Immorality is not just sleeping around. Hold on. So that you don't just say, thank God, me, I don't sleep around. Even God knows. Hold on. Pornography. Pornography. Right now we have our blackberries. It's amazing. You check Christian phones and see the kinds of things there. I'll talk about it. Pornography. All kinds of other devilish things. And don't just blame the devil. The day your roommate sees you and says, ah, what is this with naked? They say, it's Satan. I'm, I'm even waiting for the end of the month. No. Don't mock God. Don't mock God. Don't make it look like you come for miracle service and say, Lord, I'm open. And then you receive that one. There are many of us who are great men and women of God, but this is the setback in our lives. Right? Look, listen to me. This is, this is Bethel, the place of bread. Huh? What I'm doing to you now is like a, job, a doctor giving a patient injection. You feel the pain, but that chloroquine must enter so that you will be healed. Immorality. Sisters, let me talk to you. You must create rules in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you have not been doing it, create rules. If you are in a relationship, talk about it. You are in a relationship with, with a lady. Part of the reasons why you are in a relationship with her is because you are physically attracted to her. Sit down and be saying, I'm a man of God and you'll be very surprised. Warn yourself. Tell yourself, myself, behave. Receive grace from God. Create boundaries. Huh? I, I will tell you this. Don't think, oh, this is the law. Mm -hmm. Man, if this law is going to keep you focused and useful, so be it. So be it. Hallelujah. There are many of us. Study yourself, sister. You know you are very vulnerable. Huh? Don't go as I say, I know he's just a pastor. It's been long since I washed his plate. Was the plate not washed? Was it not washed? Thank God for your generosity, but you must be careful. Anything you cannot do in the open is questionable. Are you getting what I'm saying? And many of us who are pastors here, you are the, we are the ones that are subject to the greatest attack. Hear me. Hear me. Man of God, you accepted the call and you are careless with your life. You will be very surprised. If there is the call of God upon your life, guard your anointing. You see the way men embarrass themselves. You can fake healing. Deliverance is what will really show you whether you are all of that. You'll be casting at the demons. The demons are just laughing and saying all kinds of things. It should never be so. We are going to pray because I know that there are people affected in these areas. Are you getting my point? And trust me, if you think you need help, please see me for counseling. I am more than more than willing to help you. We are a family. Don't say I'm a man of God. I'm struggling with masturbation or struggling with immorality. And I think it's, it's, it's an issue. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is nothing to be ashamed of. Because you see, spiritual things cannot be hidden for too long. They will find expression. Immorality is something we, we must work. I know God is helping us. We are young people right the tv the media all kinds of things the the challenge on the average young man right now is is maybe 100 times more than it used to be 40 50 years ago i understand that but it's still not an excuse and please don't let anybody fool you that everybody is doing it huh there are many of us that will tell you who is not doing it no mm -mm. there are people who truly truly have taken advantage of the grace of God and they love God sincerely. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. Make up your mind. And if you think you cannot hold yourself, start finding a wife quick. Quick. No, 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 no. I'm very serious. I'm not playing games. The Bible says it. It is Bibles. I'm not saying you're married because, mm -mm, but the Bible says if peradventure in your quest to love God 
and you find out that you have prayed, you have fasted, you know that this one is not demons again. Please marry. I'm telling you this. Marry. It is a biblical, I say, it doesn't change anything. Are you joking? Are you married to know whether it changes something or not? Just marry. Obey the Bible. Don't start arguing with scriptures. Anger. Immorality. Immorality. You have, a, you have pastor friends or groups sit together and talk about this. Talk about this in love. Don't condemn people. And you, when somebody comes to meet you and says, see, I find myself sleeping around. You say, I knew it. The way I've been looking at you, I know you are not straight. No, no, no. That ministry is not given to you because that's the issue. That's, listen, listen, we're rounding up. That's the reason why many people are unable to open up because they are afraid. They don't trust us men of God. They don't trust. Somebody comes and opens up and tells you, this is the challenge in my life. This is what I'm going through. They'll say, ah, have you had forget everybody you see preaching on stage oh, people are dying in silence the other person say what are you talking about I say I will just you something happened no as a minister you are a steward don't betray people's trust on you I, are you hearing what I'm saying but please I'm talking to you this is an admonishment from the depths of my heart you feel that there are issues compromising your Christian experience and you need help by the grace of God God has anointed us to be able to offer you help. And with Jesus' joy and with every open heart, it's a privilege. But don't sit down and die. You can fake it before men. But you see, you are, it's, it's a seed you are sowing. It's a seed you are sowing. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer a sacrifice out Fill this temple, Lord, with your spirit. Let her go now. Out. As I pray for you, go back to your seat and check yourself. God is healing you. Out. Now. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. By the power of this kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You wicked spirit. Let her go never to return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your stomach. Christ, I set you free by the authority of the kingdom. Be free now, you wicked spirit. Tago. Now, I challenge you. I see you in the spirit and I command you to go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will remain a threat to Satan for as long as God grants us that privilege. We will never allow him find expression in the lives of the people. Listen, miracle services are not the only services where God touches people. Any service, 
is a miracle service are you getting my point it's just for organization that's why you see us do the things that we do we just set aside one week but that does not mean god can flow any day any time change what he needs to change even if it is for the sake of one person god can interrupt a service and say somebody came hungry we are not religious people to just say it must go this way hallelujah it must go god's way if god wants us to begin to pray for the sick and speak into the life of people that's what we are going to do hallelujah you came praying and let me tell you god had your prayer and he will only respond according to your prayer not according to a church program if there is someone who the spirit of death is upon for instance god is not going to allow that happen just because we need to teach a series and allow somebody go back and die god is too loving he can interrupt the bible says when he as he taught the power of god was present to heal hallelujah so when you important very very important there's is it a gentleman or a lady that came you sent me a text you're coming from somewhere else not zaria who's the person come quickly from where my dear abuja the lord will visit you come believe things will so change in your life from this night it will surprise you prophecy is not just about calling names and numbers it makes sense it doesn't make sense if it does not come to pass the beauty of prophecy is result not flamboyancy are you getting me i can quote everything and tell you this will happen and it doesn't happen that's nonsense you just clap for film show the power of prophecy is the force that makes it happen are you getting my let this wicked spirit leave this girl now by the power of the holy spirit i'm seeing a lot of oppression not even just you your family your family is that true this is even one of the reasons why you came where's your mother in Oka now she'll be in Oka. we have to pray and we have to pray for you huh we have to pray so that the devil will not start they will not start telling you so and so is happening to your stomach we need to pray are you married you want to get married why are you afraid was that no part of your request god is going to visit you it doesn't matter what your request is here we are not as what if it's marriage say marriage don't sit down we are, look let me tell you this is like a factory are you getting my point this is not a lecture hall this is where god dethrones principalities and powers over people's lives money enters your hand but it leaves and this is your family they suffer this same thing true to be very rich but things scatter yes then it's the same pattern now with us the grandchildren we need to pray all right and we are going to break that nonsense right here right now you believe it i know that you are coming from abuja you've met a lot of people right honestly i tell you god is in this place my dear god is in this place we say it with all humility he's not just here but his authority and his presence is in this place jesus we lift up your name and we break everything that is not of god i set you free right now in the name of jesus christ you will rise up you will return and you will encounter the power of god in unusual ways every life siege over your life is broken and we open a new chapter everything that is not of god we take it behind you and we declare that before you becomes like a garden of eden in the name of jesus christ god bless you hallelujah be seated god bless you greet one another hallelujah praise god thank you lord jesus Good evening everybody did you greet yourselves please go ahead greet someone who is not you
Aleluia. Two of you had dreams. Um, you saw someone you know chasing you very seriously and you were running. Please, two of those people. See, when God begins to interrupt me like this, can we just flow? Is that okay? Mm. Just play what you play, Mike. You can put it on dual now. Please, those two people. I don't know who you are. You saw someone pursuing you in your dream. This is very serious. This is not... You know them. There's one more person. Sometimes I wish we have all the time to minister to people one by one. Maybe one day we'll, we'll make the vigil. We'll service a night vigil. Would that be fine? Honestly, so we'll take time. It kills my spirit when I see that the, the time is limited. This is why we rush people like this so that we can come up. Because the truth is, there are many people who have issues and you know it's that if God locates you, that will truly be the end of it. It's just that time. Are you getting my point? Time. Time is a big factor. Time is a very big factor. Time is a big factor. Come. This lady, the one chewing your hand, you stand up Come. quickly, quickly. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you and I'm wondering why he's standing close to you. You are going to be a woman of God, a very powerful woman of God. You will walk in the prophetic very, very powerfully. You will walk in the prophetic. People have not seen anything about you. You will rise in a very powerful way and God is going to give you unusual unction. Father, let your word come through in her life. Give her unction in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her not struggle. From today, we pray that you will experience the hand of God in very dramatic ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Come. Your entire family needs deliverance. Huh? It's not just you. There's a cause of delay in your family. You may not believe. Listen, it is because Jesus is victorious that we can even identify things like this and address it. Are you getting my point? We have to pray. Hmm? If not, you are going to struggle. Are you a student? We need to pray. Huh? If not, you will struggle, not just academically, but in everything. I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Let him be free. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone and he's tying something like a bead. And this is what I see. The Lord setting the person free. Even in your family. Lord set him free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please come brother. If I don't pray for you. The devil is going to afflict you with sickness. Very serious sickness. You believe that? Are you sick? I need to pray for you because it's going to be something um, it's going to start like ulcer but it's going to get very serious hmm? and we must rebuke it once you and that God wants your heart totally hallelujah let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus just lay your hands on your chest set him free by the mind and of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah usher Madam, come. It's you I need to pray for, not the person you are standing behind. There is a lot going on in your family. There is hardship. Hardship. Because the Lord is showing me a vision. And I'm seeing like somebody is farming on a land. Farming on, on rocky ground. And nothing is burning. We must pray. You believe that? We have to pray. You people have suffered too much in your work. Nothing is working. As you are standing like this. Absolutely not. Is that true? nothing from everybody nothing is working even you you are struggling and this is a very very demonic thing you're a worker in this house and you're supposed to experience the hand of god father we love our workers why should they go through this satan i adjure you let her go now she's a worker in this house 
and she should be an epistle of the vision so that it will not look like we're faking this thing my god i pray that she will be free right now by the power of the holy spirit out of her now that wicked spirit let her go in the name of jesus christ go now I lay my hands and by the fire of the Holy Ghost let her family go in the name of Jesus Christ I release her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you are living never to regain whatever gives you legal access by the blood we command that she is free let the doors be opened in the name of Jesus Christ doors of increase doors of plenty power by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah come let me pray for you if you are the only one who is prospering and your family members are not experiencing it you will not be happy do you understand it should extend we believe in family salvation here that whatever is happening to you should happen to your loved ones how many of you believe that praise the lord no matter how prosperous you are if your family members are not getting blessed your joy will not be complete hallelujah thank you jesus christ let god visit your phonic thing this demonic thing in your family i curse it now in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father please let's hurry up so we can do this let me for you looking at a young lady I'm seeing an old woman what is all this where are you from eh? Enugu. I'm seeing a very old woman as I'm looking at you it's not your face that I'm seeing I'm seeing another person's face and it's an old woman and if we don't deal with this it will stop you from getting married you will be wondering a very pretty lady moving around why why you know all these kind of things hmm? We are going to pray. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Hmm? Hold my hands and let me pray for you. It's not your fault that you were born in your family, but it's your fault if you remain in that trouble. You must do something about it. Are you getting my point? Many of us keep blaming our parents and all of that. It may not be their fault. They did the best that they know how to do. But now that you know the truth, you must contend for change. Are you getting me? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this lady be free from everything that is not of God. I set by the now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Why did she come out? Why did I do? Let me pray for you. The spirit of death. This is death. This is not even sickness. There are families that people keep dying, dying, and they meet a pastor and he says, all right, this is the last one that will happen. Then another one happens and he says, don't worry, just give thanks in all things. You must deal with it. Once you see fire on the mountain, there's a saying in my language that if you see your neighbor's beard catching fire, don't wait till it catches your own. Find water quickly and soak your own. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. There are things I'll tell you, but I can't tell you here, right? But your relationship with God is very important. It's not just about receiving a miracle from God, but he must have your everything. Hallelujah. You, does it make sense to you what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense, right? Mm. Father, please visit this lady and visit her family. I separate you from every evil and every wickedness of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, let these attacks of darkness stop in Jesus' name brother well done let me pray for you you need revelation look at me this is what you are lacking grossly in your life you have desire but desire is not enough in the kingdom you need revelation hallelujah are you getting it this is what you need at this phase so you must contend for light and revelation father thank you in the name of jesus christ I impart upon you the spirit of revelation. Let it come upon you and let it be mighty. You will understand the truths of God's word and may God use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. Lord, allow us to teach tonight. To Janet. Who is Janet, please? I'm hearing a name, Janet. Janet. You are Janet? Okay. Your mom. A man should not have a woman's name. Oh, your mother's. Okay. Janet. I'm seeing Janet. Kai, no. There is Janet in this place. Are you Janet? There is. Is it? I hope the person is here. This is how people miss out on their miracles. Janet. Janet. I will pray for you because you have come out, but I'm hearing it in my spirit. Janet. When God refuses, I refuse to because it means that there's something that they want. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your elder sister was to get married. They, did, they even did introduction. And then something happened and they canceled it. It was a very disappointing experience. Who is that? Please. They even did introduction. The guy came, saw your people. He started doing corner corner and everything just backfired. Please come quickly. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Hold on. There's someone you are writing jam tomorrow, but you've been having dreams seeing yourself in like a primary school or a school. Who is that person? You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, it's going to be failure. You are going to fail the jam. Run, you are wearing blue. You are a lady. You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, you will fail the jam. Who, are you the one? You come. You are great. The devil wants you to fail this jam. And if we don't pray again, this one is not lack of studies. Are you getting my point? This is not lack of studies. You are writing jam too. I will pray for jam people. Don't worry. Jam will pray for you. The devil is in trouble tomorrow. You, but you come, let me pray for you since the word is for you. Look at me. We have to destroy this thing. Huh? What dream did you have? I see myself failing. You see yourself failing again and again. Huh? Don't worry. The Lord is going to visit you. You believe that? Did you read? Mm. Let the angel of God's presence help you. Because this jam sometimes is just the help of God. It's not any long story. You just need God to help you. Regardless of whether you understand what you are shading or not. For the sake of his kingdom. Sometimes you just need to say help. Oh Lord. Help. As simple as that. Praise God. I know some of you are laughing. You think it's a joking matter. That's how God helped some of you. you when you saw your result. Even you. You knew that this was prophecy. It's not any... The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. God is working on your blood. This is not even the issue of jam again. God is changing your genotype. Hmm? Is that true? What's your genotype? AA. AA. Your genotype is AA. I'm seeing God changing your genotype. It's not AA. You think it's AA. It's AS. God is changing it to AA. You fall sick. You fall sick consistently. It's not AA. Your genotype is AS. I'm seeing AS and an arrow is drawing to AA. This is what God is changing. You believe that? Because even you, you are surprised why you fall sick. Your bones pain you now. Serious, just like a sickler. It's just that they've not told you you are SS because this is demonic. Hallelujah. Father, let her pass her jam and change her genotype. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just wait here. I think I'll just pray for jam people generally before we just start the message. Hallelujah. Disappointments for your sisters. Why are you crying? Please, my dear. It's okay. See, no matter what the issue is, I want you to believe that the Lord of heaven is in this place. When God locates you, he will solve your problem. Are you getting what I'm saying? And listen, once God has located one person, you don't need to wait until they call you. Are you getting my point? This is how to tap into prophecy. 
when God locates one person you can sit where you are and say Lord I receive are you getting what I'm saying even if it's not for your sister you can challenge yourself so you must position yourself to receive let me pray for you father what why are you crying look at me why exactly are you crying let me just ask you Your auntie where is she come i'm so touched why is she crying like this please um it's okay hmm? let's not get i can be emotional i won't cry but <laughs> i don't know why i i don't cry this crying thing i only cry when i'm worshiping god but every other thing i don't know why people are crying and sometimes i'm saying let these people not think i'm so hardened i'm trying but the tears so I just found out that the best way to respond to my emotion is to solve the problems that cause it. Praise God. Jesus Christ is going to... Where is your auntie? She's at home. Where is home? Silver. She's just in silver close by. Why didn't she come? Invite her for miracle service. Will she come? She doesn't come to me. But let's pray for her. Father, please visit her auntie. In the name of Jesus, let that spirit leave your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that family leave. Please, immediately I finish praying for them. If you are writing jam, come out. Let me just pray for you once so that we can. Am I boring you tonight? God is just flowing. And I, I have a very powerful teaching, but I think God just wants to. Some of you have been praying and we've had the word, but God needs to locate some people this night please just let it happen let's just let god flow that way why are you coming out what's happening hold on hold on what's going on jam okay just stand where you are you don't need to go back let me just pray for these people hallelujah all we want is you take over take over By nothing, nothing else but you. Lord, visit our family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this plague of witchcraft be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister was disappointed. Oh, who? Yes, yeah, sure. What happened? I did the introduction. There's a reason why I'm asking. God asked me to ask you. That's why. If not, I will just pray for you. They did the introduction. They did everything. And the relationship just ended like that. The guy ran away. What happened? I pray for you in this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ladies, may no man just come into your life, play games with you, make you to involve your parents. And then for whatever reason, go away. I separate you from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That anyone that has planned from day one, that he's just coming to play around with your life, may my God keep them far from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of these things may not even be that the guy is a bad guy. It's these demonic things that we deal with sometimes. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll pray for you. Jesus, you brought her out. Help her. Be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You too. Let me just pray for you very fast. I hope this is not what I'm going to do all through this night. Some of you are already praying. You are saying, God, it won't stop. Oh, he's already close to my... <laughs> Look, and let me tell you something. Truly, let me tell you something about the power of prophecy. You know, the Bible says that upon the throne there were seven eyes, and close to the eyes were thrones. That means anything you see, there is authority to conquer it. Seven eyes and seven horns. Once the eye of the Lord can locate your situation, there is authority to conquer it. Are you getting my point? But then it doesn't just mean that if your case is not mentioned, you must force yourself and say, no, you can receive because the word of God is also prophetic. 
Hallelujah. Your sister too, or your auntie, or you. Huh? Who? Ah. That's a long story. Talk. Oh God, have mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I wish there was special time. I had time to counsel because some of these things, I can't say them openly, but look at me. There are certain things you think are disadvantages, but they are the mercy and the deliverance of God. That's just what I will tell you. Do you understand parables? Father, have mercy on this lady and bless her in Jesus' name. Don't call everything evil. You need the eye of the Spirit to know because some of you, what you call disappointment would have been the best gift of God to you. It's just that it's the future that will make you appreciate it. That's why the Bible says, in everything, give thanks. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of Jesus. Where are your people? Because your family needs the hand of God. Hmm? This is not just the issue of prayer for one person. Father, please help this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evil must stop. Leave the family now. Let the family go. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for the sister. Visit her. Let her marriage be successful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The Lord is lifting the yoke over your family and the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that the morning comes for your family your family has suffered a lot tell them the morning comes in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you. my brother look at me where are you from Kaduna you are from Makodi there is a lot of witchcraft in your family. But Father, I pray tonight that this thing will end in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Be free. Hallelujah. Jam. Jam, I'm very serious. Please, don't come here joking. Come here with every sense of seriousness as if you're already writing the exam. Jam, come out. It will take the power of God for some of you. All of you who are sitting, stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues all over this place. We need miracles. Jam, we have to break this thing right now. I'm angry in my spirit because many of these people are intelligent. They are blessed. They are not dull. Let me tell you, they are not dull. This is just the hand of Satan. Jam. If there's no space, just stand where you are and begin to pray in tongues. Father, we need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. They are believers. They love the Lord. We need your mercy tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I started praying for jam people from Monday. The number of people who came for counseling just to be prayed for for jam. I, it troubled my spirit and I said, Lord, why are people failing jam like this? 
is it because all of i know some of you didn't read you are just been playing around but there are people who have been serious and almost all the people i prayed for for jam i had to cast out devils from them and then it it dawned on me that there are some people who are suffering innocently hallelujah and we need to pray this night because some of you the truth is the way you are standing now you are not even ready for the jam let's just tell the truth and shame the devil so the mercy of god can take you through where you would not even be able to do you believe in the mercy of god because that's the only prayer i want to pray for you now the mercy of god is not just for sinners hallelujah some of you this is a destiny issue for you because you've written jam four times five times six graduated you are still graduated you are still graduated you are still there we need to take it seriously hallelujah and to pray so i'm going to pray for you lift your hands if it's a demonic thing that devil must go hallelujah thank you jesus christ father this is what you have made this house become a place of breakthrough and in the name of jesus i pray listen lift your hands all of you i'll first rebuke the power that is responsible for stopping some of you as i pray you will know that for some of you it's demonic forces that have been stopping you jesus will lift up your name jesus will lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Now I'm going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every force of darkness tying anyone's academics here by the power of the Lord resident in this house, I command those devils of darkness release god's people now 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 by the power of the holy ghost every act of divination every spirit that wants to make you fail jam in the name of jesus i curse it i curse it out of them now out of them now out of them now for those of you standing for your loved ones i command that power to leave you that power that makes you stand in the exam hall and you blank out until you fail i challenge it right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah lord jesus i pray may the angel of the lord that came to give daniel understanding may that angel of the lord go with you as you write your job in the name of jesus christ i release angels now i release angels from the throne of mercy may they go with you as you said may they go with you i release angels in the name of jesus i release angels as you write where you do not know may they still guide you in the name of jesus where your strength fails may the strength of elohim take you through in the name of jesus christ your resort will not be withheld in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of fear in this place fear of repetition of what happened last year I command that spirit of fear go 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 I cause fear go go out now go let boldness come upon you let boldness every devil that says you cannot do it fear out of them out of them 
for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind fear is banished from your life let the heart of a lion be given to you you will go and you will succeed you will go and you will prosper you will go and you will excel i command this devil i see a spirit in this lady is already positioned to destroy her tomorrow i command out out now out now she must pass the job i command you to leave in the name of jesus out now in the name of jesus jesus we lift up your name bring her hallelujah let me tell you there are some of you if not for this night's prayer you would still fail the jam again and you have to wait another year but there is the power of prophecy many of you don't know the power of prophecy it comes see listen listen you can see what is happening right now all these people have been suffering whereas they are preparing the kingdom of darkness is also preparing be free to excel in the name of the lord jesus christ out of her now you're a wicked spirit i know this lady personally and i know how much she has struggled i know how much she studies i had to pay for her lesson personally to make sure that she makes it now she's going to write jam tomorrow this lady is very diligent and hardworking. listen see let me tell you something before you start accusing people when you don't understand what is happening in their life keep quiet are you listening to me because there are people who need the grace of god i know that there are people who are violating principles but where they have tried and done their best and nothing is working that's when god steps in hallelujah all of you who are writing jam say in the name of jesus or if you are standing in for someone i receive courage i receive wisdom i receive an anointing to excel tomorrow i go with the backing of heaven i write my jam with the backing of heaven i refuse to fear i will excel in the name of jesus father i pray for your people may they meet above their cutoff point by far in the name of jesus you will not only pass the jam it will give you admission i prophesy it if i be a servant of god there are others you wrote it and passed jam but you didn't get admission with it not only will you write the jam may my god give you admission where men sit down and meet to frustrate you may the hand that the person that hand that can change seasons may it change your results for good in the name of jesus christ and i announce to every power you have no right over god's people i put a wall of fire over their lives as they write jam you will write it under an open heavens in the name of jesus christ you will write it under an open heavens god bless you please go back rejoicing thank you jesus christ ah my spirit is already charged goodness my spirit is boiling with anger right now all those who are trusting god for jobs come out and stand here Man 
Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I tell you, my spirit is fired up tonight. I don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage, but I'm angry in my spirit tonight. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Look at the number of people trusting God for jobs. There's got to be a way of helping God's people. Are you getting my point? There, there has to be a spiritual way of helping God's people. Let me tell you something. If we cannot help God's people, there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into Christianity. Are you getting my point? We have no right to stop somebody from, to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and god cannot help you i came i prepared a nice message to come and teach but my spirit is fired up because you see this is the real problem that is bringing many of us and if we don't resolve this thing you can keep hearing the word but the truth is you will celebrate testimonies but when it happens in your life there's no other message that is stronger than that hallelujah please lift your hands we need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place please follow me instrumentalist hallelujah we are going to pray the bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against judah some of you graduated with excellent results you have served but your result is like a piece of paper we need to break that power let me tell you it is not by power i taught it in the message give me this mountain there is a lot more there is a lot more please lift your hands there are two things i'm going to do i'm going to rebuke this spirit for many of you there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise you've gone to school but it's as if you are still in primary school even if you are outside no problem just hang on there with faith god is doing a very prophetic thing tonight i'm about to rebuke these powers and as i take authority over them the fire of god is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way and we are going to break the hand of the devil you will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you. My God, I thank you. I give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Father, I pray. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three, let every devil and every enchantment, every act of divination responsible for joblessness. My God, at the count of three, may your fire move through and tear down altars right now one two three touch now 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 i cause powers i cause powers i cause powers shake it help them ushers i cause powers in the name of jesus i set them on fire let the fire of god move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names we set it on fire now we set it on fire now hallelujah years ago i had a story there was someone who wanted to go to NDA 
and there is a certain height that they take and the person was too short so they told the person we cannot take you so the news got to the emir when the news got to the emir he sent the guy with a message he said go and tell the people that the emir has added his height and they took him did you hear that word he said go and tell them that the emir added the height of the short person we are going to pray i don't want to know what the deficiency is are you getting my point in the name that is a please believe please believe see some of you are already used to intellect so much you don't know the power of the spiritual otherwise you will struggle forever and you will find out that things are not changing because some of you are standing for your loved ones they have been praying praying in the name of jesus i command doors of miracle jobs right now i command doors of miracle jobs right now everywhere you have dropped your cv i move the angels of the lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it i pray let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus for those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate humanly speaking you may not get a job my God because of the anointing he has put in your life let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names, we arrest those powers this night. Hallelujah. For those of you who are working, but the work you are doing is like slavery, in Jesus' name, we relocate you from that job to something of dignity. We relocate you from that job to something of dignity. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go and submit your CVs. Go and apply knowing that you have an anointing. I don't think we are wasting our time this night. God is visiting issues and I'm very happy about it. Hallelujah. The next set of people the Lord is ministering that I call whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb please march out here quickly this fruit of the womb issue even if you come out ten times tonight don't worry Greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, Father you reign, great are you Lord, greatly to be praised. honestly i really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for koinonia because what god is doing in this place i know that there is an unusual anointing in this place hallelujah listen listen those of you standing please listen don't get too used to just coming out and going back listen to me please my bible tells me that children are a heritage from the Lord. Are you getting me? Children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife. 
children are a heritage from the Lord. Let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness. Look up, please. Jesus looked at a tree. What did he do to the tree to be barren? That means what is responsible for barrenness? Is that true? Jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren. He looked at the tree. He didn't advise the tree. He caused the tree. So how do you reverse barrenness? Are you listening to me? Jesus looked at a tree that was bearing, at least it had leaves. Are you getting my point? And he caused it. How did he cause it? By making pronouncements. Did he rub charcoal on the tree? He just made pronouncements. Listen. Job said that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men. You know what the scourging tongues of men? The scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements. We live in a generation where we do not know the power of words. We confess, we talk it, we run around. But when a word is spoken with an anointing, whether it is demonic or of God, the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect. Otherwise, it will hit you. Now listen. I want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid. Because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth. They now tell the man he's impotent, low sperm code, or whatever kind of medical terminology. Huh? And then for the lady, they now say she's barring fibroid, maybe some cysts or a womb, something has happened. And now, please, if you're a doctor here, don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't be offended. I'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence. Are you getting my point? Because this is purely spiritual. Look at me. A lot of people take in. Most people, you see, I counsel people all the time. It's not what I read in a book. It's what I have seen. Hallelujah. The woman takes in. Huh? And then, when she takes in, you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream, oftentimes. And another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen. She will wake up in the morning with blood. She's lost the child. Or all kinds of demonic, satanic things. But the Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. That means there are handwritings and there are ordinances. But the Bible says, blotting it out. Hallelujah. Do you believe the prayer we are going to pray tonight? Because we are going to deal with this thing. There are some, the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions. They've done everything they can do. But the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists if God cannot give children. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Lift your hands. I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself. Most of you are standing for your loved ones. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And God opened the womb of Rachel. And God opened the womb of Leah. Whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for. I like you to say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. And I declare. That my womb is open. Open to receive. And open to give birth normally. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. You'll be surprised at what will happen here now. Then you will know that nothing just happens. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My God, you are the one doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing. You need to step in for families. We can't keep preaching every week and not have people receive. Lift your hands, please.
there are lots of chains that will be broken right now thank you jesus christ whether for yourself or those you are standing at the count of four just four counts because i see angels with swords lord let the chains be broken one two three four chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken i cause barrenness i cause it i cause it i command a blessing every barren womb receive in the name of jesus every barren womb be opened in the name of jesus everyone called barren all the covenants and diabolisms that have blocked their wombs we command miracle children we command miracle babies i come against the spirit of miscarriage in the name of jesus christ i come against the spirit of miscarriage every fibroid in every womb i curse you you will pass out now everyone carrying any growth any tumor any cyst in the name of jesus whether for you or your loved ones i curse it fibroids go fibroids go without surgery fibroids go in the name of jesus christ any medical complication associated with this barrenness we change it now for those who do not have wombs we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost this night we give them new wombs every damaged womb we are not praying for healing we create a new one by the word of god that created the heavens and the earth that nine months from now there will be celebration of miracle children i prophesied i decreed let the power of god bring it to pass hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah now i'm led to pray listen this is a special prayer and please don't be emotional about it there are certain people here you're having acute academic challenges it's not because you are dull your own has become a serious issue you know you need prayers march out quickly march out quickly if you are ashamed sit down on your seats here there are people who are serious you came here tonight your results were released for some of you and you know that your academics is in a state of emergency come out here let's deal with this thing once and for all can you play strings We refuse to believe that you are dull. The devil is a liar. Please come quickly. Find your way. Just come here. Let's save time. Goodness. That's eight. If this is all we do today, no problem. Hallelujah. If this is all we do today, no problem. Next week is a powerful communion service. We'll be having communion and I'll be laying hands on everybody. Everybody who comes. I'm going to be laying hands on everybody praying in tongues and speaking hallelujah i'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood hallelujah it's going to be a powerful communion service we'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again i'm going to lay hands on everybody hallelujah things must change we are going to force things to change hallelujah please if you can find your way come in I, I want to see you but if you cannot no problem we need to rebuke academic issues hallelujah listen let me tell you something not everyone you see struggling academically 
is struggling because they are not serious out of him now come out i hear the chains falling falling oh, oh. I hear the chains falling. You must let him go. You are a wicked spirit. I hear the chains falling. See, that power must let you go this night. That power must let you go this night. Hallelujah. How many of you have had so many people telling you, I was the best student in my secondary school? I was very good. Some of you here, as you are standing, you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going. Because if you tell people, they will not believe. You were exceptional people. But as soon as you stepped in, something happened. Some of you literally, during exam, this thing they call exam fever, and people laugh about it. They've even given it a name, exam fever. It's a wicked and demonic thing. What is exam fever? It's not because of tension. You wrote Wayek, you wrote Jam, you entered the university. See, the, the reason, can I tell you something? Listen, the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through. So they just keep quiet. They go to church on Sunday and they rejoice. They go to church weekdays. They rejoice. But the truth is, this, see, my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving God more. But the sincere truth is, these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about God. Is that true? It's not enough to just say, love God. He said, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Take us back to our land and we'll sing the Lord's song. can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land it's very difficult hallelujah there are some of you right here you are the only ones in your family that are in school and the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means it's because she's part of that word that I just said that's why hallelujah there are some of you they are saying if you don't do well you will just go and get married because this is your thing is like you are not moving anywhere marriage is not a quick way of escaping it's not escapism hallelujah i'm going to pray for you that a hand will come upon you and oh, see the bible says that jesus opened up their understanding that means it can be locked are you getting my point jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it jesus died to make sure that you excel are you hearing what i'm saying and i don't care what your cgpa is right now even if you have been withdrawn i want you to know that there is hope for you many preachers may not tell you this they will just criticize and say this you are an embarrassment to redemption you are not an embarrassment to redemption it's because of you redemption happened are you hearing what i'm saying and right now i want to prophesy and speak over your life lift your hands please in one minute talk to the lord and say lord i've been struggling with this thing now you have located me please solve this problem please pray some of you are absolutely intelligent. We refuse to believe that you are dull. Kick away that thing. I don't care what your results have said. Talk to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Some of you have refused to sleep for weeks. This is what has tied you down. hallelujah now lift your hands let me pray of course there are spirits that are responsible some of you listen what you need is to get serious as simple as that
For some of you, that's all you need. You don't need any deliverance. You just need to obey the principles of diligence. See yet a man diligent. You are not diligent. You need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well. Some of you, what you need is humility. You are not doing well and you are very arrogant. You won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you. In this kingdom, you must be humble. Are you getting me? For some of you, is inferiority complex. Because you went to a secondary school where you used stone. And you, you sat down and the blackboard, somebody holds it. So what? So what about that? And you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody. I can't speak English very well. I'm not as fine as they are. Other people attended Queen's College. And us, we attended school that we are the people that were building the school. As we are attending the lecture. So you feel discouraged. No. Tonight I cancel that pronouncement over your life. Lift your hands. Let me pray and rebuke those spirits now. Thank you, Jesus. Please help me with the Simba. At the count of three, I'm going to pray. Goodness. I'm telling you, the fire of God is going to come on a very, in a very mighty way. Lord Jesus, every power holding your academics at the count of three, I set them on fire. One, two, three. Take it now. Leave them. I command those powers be taken from your academics. I rebuke those spirits of failure, inferiority. I set them on fire, on fire now, on fire now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I set those spirits on fire. Let those people go. Let those people go. I command that you excel. I prophesy that you excel. Everyone on probation, we take you out of probation tonight. In the name of Jesus, those who have been withdrawn, we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel. Though weeping endures for a night, I prophesy to you, joy comes, joy comes with the morning I prophesy to you he said is there hope for a tree though it be cut off at the scent of water this night I command every academic dry bone come alive come alive come alive come alive every spell every divination over your academics I set you free now in the name of Jesus, whoever has made pronouncement over your life that you will not excel, I curse that prophecy. I curse that word. I bless you. I bless you. Prosper. I bless you. I bless you. In the name of Jesus, let the blessing cause you to prosper. Hallelujah. Anyone called God, anyone called God, there's nobody that God created that is God. Anyone called God, I change that testimony tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There are some of you here, you are like wounded soldiers. But we bring you the bomb that is in Gilead tonight. Others may have insulted you and made it look like nothing good can come out of your life. But I prophesy to you, you can rise again. Are you hearing me? Listen. Some of you are starting afresh. They have laughed at you, but start. The hand of God will go with you. In no time you will pursue. You will overtake. And that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass. Everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you, may they see you in your glory. May they see you in your glory. And when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, 
we were like them that dream and our hearts were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord has done great things for us he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh god like the streams of the negev lord i pray you turn around situations here tonight turn around situations oh god there are some of you this is your last session to do well in that department and if you don't do well they may withdraw you i pray by the mercies of the god of david oh god remember those you died for let a book of remembrance be opened tonight may you rise miraculously out of probation hear me and anyone here who has been unjustly treated that the sincere truth is that your result now you are holding what is not your own may the lord of sabaoth the one who avenges for men may that god avenge for you that anyone who has victimized you because of your christian integrity and you are suffering today because of your integrity let the lord of sabaoth arise in the name of jesus christ Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Please go back to your seat. Thank you for lifting. 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 God is really dealing with issues tonight. I'd like you to just settle down I'm just don't mind me if you're coming here for the first time tonight please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it hallelujah how many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight whatever prayer you prayed this week God had you maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow they have shaken the heavens Mega. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough. I just came and mounted the stage and God said, No way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a special set of people right now. Um, there are families. Please, can you hear me outside? Can you hear me say amen? Okay, God bless you. Thank you. There are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything. How many of you know what I mean? I don't just mean rebellious. You have some people that even the community around you is tired of. Parents drag their children and bring them for counseling. Once I see a mother enter and I see a son following, I know that this son has caused headache. Are you getting me? The church is the light of every city. If for now, we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest, we can rehabilitate these stubborn children. That's a, st a place to start. There are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves. Huh? It's not just guys, guys and ladies. Some of you, you are here, as I mentioned the case, don't just stand for somebody. You know that there's this spirit in you. It's called the spirit of rebellion. There are some of you who still, no matter what happened, listen, we are a family tonight. Koinonia is not where everybody says, tell them or point accusing fingers. Everybody has something he's trusting God to bring him out of. Are you getting my point? So this is a family in this place tonight. There are people who have struggled with this rebellious spirit. Some of you even beat up your loved ones. You are a lady, 
But when that thing comes upon you, you can even beat somebody as, as, as big as Kenny or Shedrach. And then later you just cool down. You'll say, what happened? You say, they made me angry. You need deliverance. Quickly. Let me just tell you. Praise God. Now don't get, when I talk of deliverance, I'm not necessarily talking of turning your head. You need a separation between you and that spirit. Let's define what we call deliverance here. So that you don't just think, I mean, go and fast for 12 days, do this. Uh -uh. What is happening? Every time the word comes, is able to deliver. Hallelujah. So whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself, there are some of our brothers here, you, you love God or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom. But this rebellious spirit, even you, you cannot explain. Together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking, this is a strange night. Praise God. We are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and God. I'm going to pray. This is not an altar call. This is a call to say, Lord, I'm tired. I can't keep hiding this thing. Praise God. Are you getting my point? Please come out quickly. Well, come out quickly. Come and stand. If you are standing for yourself, stand in front and start praying. Start praying and saying, Lord, enough is enough. Don't let anybody laugh at you. God is changing you. Please stand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a factory where God is building people. And all of you who are sitting, please be praying in tongues. Everybody sitting, begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Let's set this atmosphere on fire. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Forget about who is looking at you. Forget about who is looking at you. Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing is in your own life, not that of your brother, whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back, please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 95% of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people, every time I talk with them, some of them begin to cry. And they tell me in all sincerity, I don't like it. Are you getting me? There are ladies here, weak. There is no weak. You don't follow a man to sleep with him. You are born again. You even pray in tongues. People have told you, it's all right, you are the righteousness of God. But you know that that theology is not, it's not, it's true that you are the righteousness of God. But something is happening in your life that is negating that. And it must be dealt with. There are some of our brothers, you love God. Some of you still, as anointed as you are, once you just sit down, a spirit tells you exactly where the place is. And you go and carry it. They give them every kind of scientific name. I don't care what the name is, it must bow this night. Are you getting what I'm saying? When I finish, then I'll prophesy over everybody. Everybody must go home with something this night. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, those of you standing in front for our time, I'll pray with you very quickly. I'm not going to ask you what the issue is. But I want you to believe. Listen. There are some of you, your own issue is money. Once you see money, hi. You don't, it's like an anointing comes on you. Once you see money, the show born again is out of the way. Please, I want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue. That's what has stopped some of you from getting married. 
you have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire, he should back to sender. You keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it. If you've been laughing about it, let me challenge you. You better hear what I'm saying and take it as the voice of God. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with God blessing you with a millionaire. But everybody starts somewhere. It's only the grave that you start digging from the top. Every other thing you start from under. Hallelujah. I'm going to agree with you. And those spirits will leave you. You will go back home a changed person. And you will find out that those laws. See. Do you know the. Listen let me tell you. You are truly delivered. If the urge to do what you are doing has left you. If you are still enduring and using willpower, you need prayers. Are you getting me? There are men who are not sleeping with ladies, but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely. That one look, it will take one week, recovery of one week. You will reboot your spiritual life again. You need prayers. Don't let anybody tell you it's normal. Everybody is like that. Then what is the purpose of the power of the Holy Spirit? If we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of God is real, something can happen to you. Are you getting my point? Or you are not stealing. You've not carried it. It's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet. But once you are still struggling with the urge for something, you need prayers. As simple as that. Never convince yourself that everything is over yet. Once you find out that there is something still pushing you, you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house. He just calls you and says, Ah, I'm in Kano, close to you here. Can you come? Just take a cab, I'll pay. And you are just thinking, should I go? Should I not go? If I go, I'm coming back with nothing less than 50,000. If I don't go, I'm struggling this weekend. But I've had a message. And while you are listening, God will remind you of one koinonia message. And you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again. And God will say, choose. Choose by yourself. Ladies, if you cannot look at a man and tell him, I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity, you need prayers and revelation. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. Okay. I'll just pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Once I as I lay my hands on you, just begin to confess that you are free. Free. Go. Leave her now. smokers make sure you join them i'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking indian ham benelin we we everything join them i don't care what it is once you are smoking something you need prayers i'm serious about it please i don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor there's nothing to be ashamed of once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking join them 
is this spirit of rebellion. Go ahead, worship him. Help me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Out. 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 Go Out. Back. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ, I set you free. are standing for somebody i'm going to pray generally i'm just praying for those who are standing for themselves just be patient i will speak over your life we need salvation for listen if koinonia is here and at least samaru is not we can build borehole for people but if the crime rates does not reduce if there are still bad people around we are hypocrites we are just doing jamboree and doing church are you getting me but if the families in the days of John G. Lake, Spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world. Because they were envoys. This is what apostolic reformation is all about. It's not just speaking grammar. That you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle. Something must happen to your loved ones. Wait and see. After this prayer, some of them will follow you for miracle service. Those who have vowed that they won't come, you will see them coming because they tried all their rehabilitation. They took your name to prophets. Nothing happened. Hallelujah. Listen, I have a very serious word of advice. Maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it. But let me say some things very clear sex outside marriage is sin everybody say noted so that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it i'm taking this issue very seriously sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin forget about your past are you getting what i'm saying i'm not condemning you past is past Number two, 
stealing money from people your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life i don't care what revelation of redemption you have you keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken are you getting what i'm saying brothers we we benelin what's the name of that other thing codeine what again huh these people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity and these wicked spirits started working in people you ask them a simple question one plus one they cannot answer but they know which drug can take you high that's spiritual are you getting me a time will come we are going to organize a service and bring these people and you will see the power of God setting these people free there's no need just talking out. They are the ones stealing around. And if we really want the crime rate to reduce, and we want to, them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things, they must be delivered. This is not just the issue of police station. This is the issue of the power of God. Then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just Bible study on Sunday, but there is what we call apostolic reformation. There is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped no matter how stubborn they are hallelujah praise god come please take a powerful worship sam just take a powerful worship as i pray for these people how many people are left here all right let me if i pray for you please just step back so that i just finish up with these people very quickly thank you jesus christ i don't care what the issue has been if you are in a relationship with a married man, as soon as we are sharing the grace, send him a text. Hello? Ladies, if you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes are open. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher? Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman because you have money. And then you think you are married you are a big boy and this let's stop these things somebody has got to talk hallelujah so that god can now bless you the bible says if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will heal their will, will forgive their sins and heal their land hallelujah sam please any song thank you jesus so we say i set you free
free. You are my everything. You are my everything. You are my everything. You are my everything. Take all of me. everybody headache from stealing to prostitution hallelujah there are some they won't go to school they won't do anything but they can cause trouble to everyone it's not normal don't hate them stop hating them now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate Trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem. You can even call police to come and flog them. They can jail them for one week. They will come out and repeat the same thing. But you try the power of God and see what will happen. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform. And in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of Jesus. I declare that beginning from tonight, may the Lord begin to convict their hearts. May they be born again and mightily used by God. I prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by God. We choose to see the goal that is in them. We choose to see the great destiny. We declare that their lives are not useless. No matter how much they have wasted their life, my God gives them another chance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I've prayed for them. On your own path, as much as you can, talk to them. Listen, it's not just to bring them for koinonia. You are anointed. You have been using cane to flog them. One day, get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house you will see the drama of the power of god see this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you if all you are taking back is koinonia messages they will be blessed but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working hallelujah God bless you. Please go back to your seat quickly. One last category and we are done for tonight. Goodness. Please don't miss next week's communion service. I already sense that God is doing very, very, very mighty things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please.
I don't want you to just come out emotionally. Hallelujah. Whether you are inside or outside. If you run a business, if you have a business, whether it's a family business or it's your own, I'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around, you know that whether it's a family business, whatever it is, from poultry to whatever, and you think that you want to see the hand of God in your business and that of your family members, please, I'm begging you, let's save time. Hallelujah. If you belong to that category, you know that you just need the touch of God. I want you to come out and stand here. Trust him. Trust him that God will do something. Please, the sound. While they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. It may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself. Let children come. How much is the school fees of one child? A very good school. Good school. Huh? Over 100,000 plus. You can imagine. Now you have been shouting. You are training your children with 150 and you are collecting 100,000. Your entire life till you die, till high blood pressure kills you, will be on deficit. But you need you is it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there but let me tell you listen listen you must get up and do something the man with one talent sat down for somebody in this place this is the message god is telling you if you if you are afraid of doing business you can start a poultry at least what is wrong with three or four of you listen i'm very serious just just stop this. Let me press this thing down. Praise God. What is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50, 50,000 naira together huh? and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you? You bought a phone of 70,000 naira. That's your destiny there. You are holding it on your hand and moving around. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes? That you kept it. Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. Seek advice. We teach on finances to be able to help us. I don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke. And now is the time to start. Start and fail honorably. Fail honorably and do it again. It's better than sitting down. Or God Jordan is here. Or Jordan, wave your hand. Or God Jordan is here. I knew when he started his bookstore. The room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today God has honored him. 
is already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me, I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there's something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to... to you see that? Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it. And we'll pay you for it. We won't say you're a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You. And you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what we are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is this screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt and then we'll, we'll go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything that I've said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> Let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing, fear of... I cast it out in the name of Jesus. If you must be blessed in life, it takes audacity. It takes gods. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plat? I know Selena plat. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plat. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes, and you believe you are prepared to stand, we are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. You are a crook who will pray, we'll send you away. Or we'll pray for you. If you become a headache, we'll send you away. Clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Fail honorably. We'll clap for you and pray for you again. But don't sit down and not do anything. Hallelujah. And then start small. Some of you want good luck, Jonathan, to call you to be his secretary. Start small. Start small. Start small. How many of you make 
um, maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that. How many? Look at. Look at your money. See all your money here. Everybody. How many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics? You see that? Look at. I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around. But there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. Ah! <laughs> that cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin on your... We won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say I'll be excellent. How many of you fried chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky fried chicken. I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around. Kentucky fried chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin. You are doing bones. You are doing uh, every, No, no. Specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades, you are, they say, what are you doing? Say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. She makes so much money. Maybe in one day, what her salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small, but you to cooperate. Haba, the small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we will take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, was you, Abby? Yes. We're talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, capital, capital, hold on. How many of you know about you win? At least you win is not a scam. We all know that is genuine. How many of you applied? You see that? Whereas there are people I know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals. 10 million naira, not debt, grant that the government is giving. And let me tell you, they are very fair. I know some of our people here who got it. And I know they are very fair and genuine. How about submitting a proposal? 
or at least partnering with somebody else. You can partner with somebody else. By the time the money comes, so a few of our people here got, got it. Brothers and sisters, let's wake up. God is talking to us. Hallelujah. Let's not just be falling down. Take it, take it, and fall down. But let's get up and do something. Hallelujah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. How many of you fix computers? You know that you know anything around computers. Okay, Moses, who again? Honestly, why can't you start a very good factory? Genuinely, if you can't fix the person's phone or computer, tell the person I cannot do it. How many of you bring in cars? Anybody does that? You just brought a car from Abuja now. Did you do it well? Clean business. You got your own commission. That's what we are talking about. You don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed. Are you getting me? Please, I'm challenging you. Hear me inside and outside. I'm going to pray now, but I want to challenge everyone. I don't just want to chorus it just like that. And then we don't do anything. In the whole of Amadubelo University, for instance, at least let me use one institution. Is there an ice cream machine there? Please answer me. Is there an ice cream machine? Look at. And there are over 40,000 potential customers. There are some of you here, the money you have right now in your account can buy 10. Why don't you prepare a proposal? Three or four of you. Don't just choose people because they are Christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me a headache here. Use financial intelligence. Are you getting me now? So that somebody, because I'm aware that in a crowd like this, there are all kinds of people. Don't let anybody come in the name of the Lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things. No. But with proper financial intelligence, some of you here, you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others. You are looking for a job that will give you 30000 whereas God wants to make a nation out of you. An ice cream machine. An ice cream machine. Let me tell you. I remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago. I was spending more than 1000 a bit 2000 per day just to buy for myself and others. One tiny cup like this. One color. Not even chocolate and this. One milk color. See, as a Christian, take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities. Are you getting my point? Where others are looking, you should see. Don't let anybody tell you you are small. No. Challenge yourself. This is how to get out of poverty. Please do it and fail honorably. If you did it in integrity, my God will revisit you and you will rise up again. Hallelujah. At this level, it may be unwise for you to start thinking, I want to develop an estate. You may not have that kind of money. It may require tens and hundreds of millions to do that. So why don't you start small? How many of you are producers, music producers? You can produce. You can produce, Mike. You can produce. You too. You too. See? Have you packaged yourself enough have you tried to do a jingle proposal for media? Why don't you do a jingle proposal for media? Have you done it and they didn't pay you? Let me tell you something. In as much as we are working in the body of Christ, are you getting my point? I understand the principle of rewarding value. Can I tell you something? I'm challenging everyone in this place. If you have something you think can make Koinonia a better place and you package it, bring it as a proposal. If we love it, we will honor you and we will pay you for it. I guarantee you. Every week, welfare is cooking. Why can't some of you make poultry? Look at our ladies. Shortly, I'm going to be announcing some new weddings that have come up now. Why don't you go and meet them and say, I have 100 birds. Just book. How much is one bed? 1,005. One five. Now, if you have 100 beds, or let's say 50 beds, how much is that? About 75,000 there about. And then they carry the money and they are giving somebody and we are sitting in the body of Christ. Please, let's be wise Christians. Times have changed. Are you getting my point? I'm saying this from the depths of my heart to challenge us. Don't say there is nothing I, can, I cannot do. He said, what do you have in your house? There is always something in your house. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus.
There is something you have in your house. You can sell clothes. Do you know, listen, I have been shocked. Many of you, you have seen me come to stand here to minister. And you know that as ministers, we are always wearing clothes. And some of you have, there are, see, if this was in the east or this was in the south, somebody will sit down and say, let me study the kind of shirt this person is wearing. Let me study this and that. And then you start producing. It's only one lady. Where is she? Our decoration mama. Where is she? I think she was the only one together with Ada. It was you, right? Together with Ada. That they were able to put something on ground. Because she's a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, you are there throwing your money, designing rags all around. And people are not buying. Design something decent. How many brothers dress well here? There are some of you who can sell nice suits. You may not be able to afford certain levels, maybe 30,000, 40, 50, 100, but you can start small. Many brothers here don't know where they sell suits. Why don't you bring it closer home? Hallelujah. Some of you draw. How many of you draw? You are painters or you are artists. You, you did very well. You are one of the best students now in your... Have you tried to do a proposal to say when it is somebody's birthday you can say I can point, paint your picture 30,000 people are selling one of those artworks have you done anything so let's stop blaming God when we have not taken any step hallelujah let's lift our hands thank you Jesus as we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor father we lift our hands and worship as we bless your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great For you are great, you the miracle so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for your people. By the power of the holy spirit let an anointing come upon every business in this place in the name of jesus christ i pray that your businesses will rise beyond these limits from the realm of thousands we take it to the realm of millions from the realm of millions we take it to tens of millions and hundreds of millions and billions in the name of jesus for those of you trusting God for creative ideas, may my God give you creative ideas in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who started and failed, I bring a word of encouragement. Go back again. Restrategize and go back again. And may my God lift your hands this time around. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that your products and your services whatever it is that you have to do beginning from zaria here or whatever your locality is may the lord announce it for you in the name of jesus christ may the spirit of excellence come upon you that you will package and design your products with top quality and excellence and may it bring you abundance may it bring you plenty in the name of jesus christ I rebuke the spirit of fear fear of failure fear of loss fear of defeat i curse it in the name of jesus i command every dry bone in this place to come alive live again all the ideas all the partnerships all the sponsorships all the endorsements that you need to rise from where you are to the next level may my god give it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus, 
may my God give it to you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat quickly. Let's celebrate Jesus Christ. Keep standing as I make the altar call. Hallelujah. I'm sorry for tonight. I couldn't teach. God just took it in another dimension and we give him all the praise. It doesn't happen all the time, but we thank him because I know that so many testimonies will come here. Please don't be afraid to come share your testimonies. Hallelujah. Now, you're here in this place. I know we've been standing. Please let's stand one more time just to honor those who will come into the kingdom right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, you came to this place tonight and you heard me talk about different areas. And there are some of us tonight that will be saying, man of God, I want you to help me. I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I've never really made a decision for Jesus Christ. Or there are some of you who have made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ, but for some reason you have derailed and you want to come back to Christ. You want to lay aside all kinds of habits we have prayed and you're saying, Lord, give me a fresh start right now. Please, wherever you are, inside or outside, I would like to pray with you. Find your way to the front right now. Celebrate them as they come. Don't be afraid. God bless you. God bless you. He's not the only one. Please, wherever you are, I want you to come. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. The Lord is giving you a new beginning tonight. Don't sit back. Don't be ashamed of anyone. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus is calling you. God bless you. A new experience is a new day for you. It's a new day for you. God bless you. Keep coming. They are coming from outside. Celebrate them. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for taking the boldness to come out. Your life will never be the same. It all starts with Jesus. Hallelujah. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. Lift your hands, all of you here, and say after me, Jesus, I love you with all my heart. Tonight, I repent of my sins. Change me. Build me. Make me. And use me for your glory. I declare, and I make up my mind, that I will walk with you forever. I denounce sin and Satan. I receive eternal life in my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Make me a great person in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these ones. You brought them out by your power. Sustain them. Their lives will never be the same in the name of Jesus. From today, they begin a journey forward ever and backward never. I give you all the praise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. May God bless you. Now, I want you to just follow the ushers, the guys with the tags. Just follow them and they'll have your details. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those worshiping with us for the first time, I'd like you to stand up and please come out here. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please come out. We celebrate you. Celebrate all of them. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Those outside, don't sit back. If this is your first time, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Joseph, good to see you. Give me five. Hallelujah. We are neighbors. We are neighbors in Joss. I'm happy to see him. Hallelujah. He was a student of Futmina. Thank you, Jesus. We're happy to see every one of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Some of you came from far and near. And the Lord will bless and increase you in the name of Jesus. Whatever your desires are, I want to assure you that they will be met 
in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same because the Lord brought you here to bless you and to increase you. We honor you, we celebrate your grace and we thank you for